case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1855, the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court heard the case Proprietors of the Church in Brattle Square v. Grant, which centered on the ownership of an estate with a restrictive condition attached. The main issue in the case was whether the limitation given to John Hancock was lawful or if the property rightfully belonged to the deacons and their successors. The dispute arose due to a condition relating to a certain contingency which made the transfer of the estate dependent on the willingness of the oldest minister of the Brattle Square Church. The lower court had not reached a decision on the titles of the involved parties, leading to an appeal. The plaintiffs had previously sought to authorize the sale of the estate due to the impracticality of using the property as a private residence and to invest the proceeds in other real estate. The court ultimately determined that the estate belonged to the deacons and their successors, who were the primary beneficiaries of the testatrix's gift. The decision was based on the idea that conditions or limitations that violate the law are void, and if the estate is first limited, the title should remain with the first takers. A decree was issued authorizing the sale of the estate and the reinvestment of the proceeds for the intended purposes of the trusts declared in the will related to the property. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.